Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know that drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Follow me on my finance channel at AIH Finance. Okay, a few things. I want to do a quick video about this. this is me asking questions. And number one is fanatics is are they going to back out of the deal of the alleged deal with panini there have been many uh, there's a lot of talk behind closed doors not behind closed doors but it's out in the open where many people have speculated including myself that it looks like fanatics is buying panini now i'm not sure once again if that's true and if there's any clause for Fanatics to back out of any deal that may have been struck with Panini. And the reason why I'm asking is with this situation that went on with the Backyard Bros, right? Uh, we're not 100% sure who may have provided the Backyard Bros with these boxes. Now, the assumption from many people now is that these boxes may have been loaded with these uh, logo man cards which seems to be very a very small probability that the backyard bros got it in a normal manner for instance uh, there's been math calculated by numerous people out there and the collectibles guru is talking about it. sports card radio has been uh, providing a document i think triple crown i forget there's another guy named that on i think youtube They've come up with math and it seems very low probability that they have or that the Backyard Bros picked all of those cards without some hanky-panky going on. Now, once again, I haven't seen a public statement by the Backyard Bros and I'm waiting to hear from them. So I'll keep my ears open and... I'll go from there, but right as of right now, based on evidence that I'm seeing, it appears some hanky panky is going on. And the thing is, if Fanatics has a way to back out of any alleged deal with Panini, would they do that? Would they want an investigation from Panini before they move forward with this? Because you have to remember, Fanatics has a top line CEO, and this CEO probably is going to take their brand public would they want to deal with any of this information hitting the mainstream news i mean revalve if is even this has caught his eye the story he thinks there's something funky going on so if you're just looking at all of this if i were fanatics and there was a clause and assuming that no deal has been struck i would make sure that panini does an investigation figure out who if anyone from panini is leaking these boxes to them if not okay that's great but once again i believe someone from panini is sending the loaded boxes to the backyard bros i don't think it's coming from the distributors now they say that okay distributors give it to the breakers right that don't have an inland store but you don't know what happens behind closed doors right this is my tinfoil hat coming on and once again i believe that panini is most like or someone from there is most likely providing them with the boxes now once again i would like to see an investigation and if i were fanatics i would demand an investigation before any deal comes forward and the thing is is this going to hurt panini's valuation if no deal is struck or if Fanatics has the right to cancel any deal that has been struck. And the thing is, if no deal has been struck, I believe Fanatic, I mean Panini's valuation is much going to go much lower. And it went lower after Tops was smart enough to sell to Fanatics. Now as more time passes on, assuming no deal has been struck, Oh man, this could not be, this is probably the worst timing for this news to come out. But anyways, uh, let me know about this. Um, what are your thoughts? It may mean nothing. Maybe the deal has already been struck and it's going to be announced in a few weeks and, you know, nothing can be done. Who knows, right? But 
I do want to ask you guys and uh, make sure to check me out live tonight. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, guys. Bye.